Hello everyone, today we are going to convert 5 cm to meter and 5 meter to centimeter, right? Actually, I will convert 5 cm to meter uh, depending on two methods, right? In the first method, uh, I will show first method, right? Now I would like to show you the first method. Okay. First method. Okay. In first method, what will I do? Okay. I will write the relationship between centimeter and meter. That is basic equivalence, right? Let me write one meter equal to 100 centimeter. Right? Every, uh, we all know it. One meter equal to 100 centimeter. So, now write this. 5 centimeter. And we need to convert it to meter. Right? Okay. We can write 5 centimeter like this. 5 times 1 centimeter. Right? We can write 5 centimeter equal to 5 times 1 centimeter. Just we are rewriting this, right? We are rewriting 5 centimeter into 5 times 1 centimeter. Now we have to put the value of 1 centimeter from this equivalence, right? So let me find out uh, the value of 1 centimeter, okay? We know that 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter right and we can rewrite this 1 meter equal to 100 times 1 centimeter just we are rewriting this right and now 1 meter divided by 100 equal to 1 centimeter that is from here we can find the value of 1 centimeter. Now we will put the value of 1 centimeter here, right? Okay, put the value of 1 centimeter here. Look at here. So we are getting 5 centimeter equal to 5 times 1 meter divided by 100. So look at here. If we divide 5 by 100 then we will get the value ok let me divide use my calculator 5 divided by 100 and that gives me 0 0.05 meter that is 5 centimeter equal to 0 0.05 meter so this is the first method right so let me show you the second method right second method okay so in second method we will convert 5 cm to meter this second method is called unitary analysis or dimensional sorry dimensional analysis right however so in, in second man, method, we will adopt three steps. Step one. Step one. In this step, we will try to find out the basic equivalence between centimeter and meter. Okay. We have one. One meter equal to 100 centimeter. Right. In the second step, what will I do? I will write conversion factor from equivalence. So, I can write here two conversion factor from this equivalence. So if I take centimeter as a numerator, then I have to take meter as a denominator. And now I have to write the number associated with meter and associated with centimeter. And this will be equal to one. And if you take just opposite of it, then you are getting one meter divided by 100 centimeter equal to 1. The good news is that we don't need to memorize this conversion factor. This conversion factor will come to our calculation automatically. Right? <coughs> so, 
I, I can delete this conversion factor, right? Okay. Third step. Before going to third step, let me give you some basic, right? Okay. Given quantity times conversion factor, conversion conversion factor equal to desired quantity. Okay. You shouldn't memorize this. Just I am writing here just for for our convenience, right? Okay. Let me give you another basic. Given unit times given unit desired unit. So if we, uh, we this given unit and this given unit will cancel and we'll get our desired unit, right? So we don't need to memorize this. This will also come to our uh, calculation automatically. So in the third step, what will I do? In the third step, I will write the question, right? 5 centimeter would like to convert 5 centimeter to meter, right? So I can, I will express 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter as a fraction. Actually, this uh, one doesn't have any value. Then my target is to uh, cancel this centimeter, right? So I have to take a conversion factor here. So I can write a centimeter and this centimeter, this centimeter will cancel. We know that centimeter, there is a real basic relation between centimeter and meter. That is here, right? So I have to write here meter. And with centimeter, we have number 100. And with meter, we have number 1, right? So we are getting here 5 divided by 100 meter so you can write here 5 centimeter equal to 5 divided by 100 meter now you can use your calculator okay let me use my calculator 5 divided by 100 that gives you 0 0.05 meter this process is called dimension analysis right so by using two method you can convert five centimeter to meter okay let me do the opposite thing that is now we are going to convert five meter to centimeter right five meter to centimeter okay let me show you the first method okay first method right first method method we know that one meter equal to 100 centimeter right and we would like to convert five meter to centimeter right five meter to centimeter so we can write 5 meter like this 5 meter equal to 5 times 1 meter now if we able to put the value of 1 meter then we will be successful so the value of 1 meter will come from the equivalence 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter so I will write here the value of 1 meter 100 centimeter so we are getting here 500 centimeter so 5 meter equal to 5, 500 centimeter. This is the answer. Now, let me show you the second method to convert 5 meter to centimeter, right? Okay. Let me delete this first. Okay. 
okay in the uh, in in the second method we will adopt three step in the first step i will write the basic equivalence between meter and centimeter we know that 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter the second method is called dimensional analysis okay in the first step in the second step what i will do i will write conversion factor conversion factor here so let me write that if you take centimeter as a numerator then you have to write meter as a denominator and this will be equal to 1 centimeter means 100 meter means 1 with we centimeter with centimeter we have the number 100 and with meter we have the number 1 and you have to take just opposite equal to 1 actually we we don't need to memorize this uh, conversion factor this will uh, come to our calculation automatically right so let me delete this uh, conversion factor okay so now i will go to the third step right third step third step in third step i will write the problem at first 5 meter we are going we want to convert to centimeter right so at first i will express 5 meter as a fraction right and then we have to take conversion factor actually this one doesn't have any value would like to cancel this meter so i have to take here meter right i have to take here meter this meter this meter will cancel out and with meter we have the relationship of centimeter so now you have to write the number associated with centimeter and meter and with meter we have one and with centimeter we have hundred so we are getting here five times hundred centimeter if you multiply five times hundred then you will get five hundred centimeter that is five meter equal to five hundred centimeter right so this is the um, second method to convert 5 meter to 500 centimeter i think you have enjoyed this lesson and you have gotten the clear knowledge if you think that you have gotten clear knowledge then please write a comment and let me know what you are thinking